In a major decision, the government has today finally allowed all people above the age of 45 years to get vaccinated against COVID-19 starting April 1st. Notably, now there will be no need for medical certificates attesting comorbidity conditions, which was actually, if, I'm, uh, uh, if I understand the doctors uh, that I've been speaking to correctly, was a major confusion area. Now, this decision comes on the back of a growing chorus over the last several weeks for allowing more people to get vaccinated in the face of an alarming spurt in coronavirus cases across the country. I am joined by Dr. Amrish Satwik today from Ganga Ram Hospital. Uh, uh, I'm joined by Dr. Jugal Kishore, Head of Community Medicine at Savzajang Hospital and Dr. Romil Tiku from Axe Hospital to unpack the implications of this latest government decision. Uh, I'll start with you, Dr. Satwik. Please tell me, do you think that this decision by the government has come just in time or is it a little late? Well, I'm not privy uh, to the production uh, capacities of the Serum Institute uh, and Bharat Biotech, but I think if they're confident about rolling out adequate numbers every month, then I don't think the government should be creating an artificial scarcity. And I think these are glad tidings that everyone above the age of 45 is now entitled to a vaccine. As many people should be vaccinated as quickly as possible. That's the only way of getting to the other side of the pandemic is when you have achieved about 60 to 70 percent herd immunity, either through natural infections or through uh, vaccines. So vaccine immu induced herd immunity. Therefore, it's the duty of everyone who's entitled to take a vaccine to take the vaccine to get to the other side as soon as possible. There is some concern about uh, mutant variants, uh, whether these vaccines are uh, in fact, uh, you know, they, if the mutant variants uh, are of the kind that would provide immune escape and would evade vaccine-induced uh, immunity. But uh, I think uh, it might necessitate another booster because they're already speaking of a third uh, booster, particularly for pensioners in the UK sometime in autumn uh, or, uh, or winter. Dr. Tiku, your take on whether this move by the government has come too soon or, sorry, too late, or is it in time? I think it comes at the right time. They've done well till now. We've already inoculated about almost 500 million people and 80 million uh, have uh, gotten the second dose also. So India is right, right there at the top, top three countries to have vaccinated the majority of people till now. But we have to do more because India is a huge country. It's a humongous task. If you ask me, inoculating majority of 1.3 billion people, even if you have to inoculate 70 crore people for that matter is going to be tough but we have the experience we've done it in the past and there's no reason why we should not be able to do it and india is the largest manufacturer of vaccines we have the serum institute the bio biotech of course we have to ramp up the manufacturing because we need enough doses for such a huge population i think this move comes at the right time it has to be done in a phased manner you have to give it to the priority population first who are at the highest risk that does make a lot of sense so it started with healthcare workers, then the frontline workers, then 60 plus, 45 plus with comorbidities. And now, just at the right time, from April 1st, 45 plus, you don't need any certificate. There was some sort of confusion regarding the comorbidities, whether a diabetic or a hypertensive person can take it, but that was not the case. And there were people rushing in who had any comorbidity for uh, the inoculation. So all that will be sorted out now. So it should become simpler. The process has to be simple for us to inoculate majority of population. You have to carry your Aadhaar card, go to your nearest medical facility and take the shot there. Maybe right now we have the government centers, the private hospitals or centers, but at some point we need to have an open vaccine market where anybody who's above the age of 18 can walk into any center with his Aadhaar card and get inoculated. It is a difficult task, might not happen soon, but at some point, maybe five, six months down the line, we'll be there. But if we manage till then, manage to inoculate the majority of the population or the priority population, which is 30 crores, then we'll be in a very good space because we have all the experience. We have these companies, we have the manufacturing capacity, the distribution is not an issue, the storage is not an issue. And of course, the need of the hour is actually to ramp up the vaccination because of the threat of mutant strains and the second wave hitting us now. Maharashtra is already going through a second wave. But if you ask me, the other states, the southern states, whether it's uh, Punjab, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, everywhere the numbers are spiking. And even Delhi, for that matter, again, there's a scarcity of 
beds. Uh, we are getting calls every other day whether there's a bed available. And now the beds have also been reduced, the COVID beds. But at some point, we might again have to do what we were doing, basically uh, ramping up the uh, infrastructure, healthcare infrastructure, increase the number of beds and do more and more of testing, tracking, tracing, isolating more patients, treating them at the right time. And that's the way to go. That's what we've done. And that's why we were successful. I think at some point, people have become complacent. It's already been a year. They uh, have sort of a fatigue, which is certain. They yeah, don't want to follow a... the norms. Yeah. yeah. In February, the number of cases uh, has gone down in India. And uh, we had no urgency at that time. So the right. vaccine was focusing on, you know, high risk group, which was very right. And and the capacity of India was, you know, uh, not that much uh, at the time. But now today, as uh, doctor has rightly said from Max, that uh, we are in a position, we are already exporting our vaccine. So uh, definitely, uh, and the number of cases are also going up. So we have to, uh, you know, enlarge our, our you know, group uh, or say the population where we can vaccinate more and more people. But uh, I think uh, uh, we can go a little much uh, more uh, than 45 is that, you know, focusing on a vulnerable group or risk group, even, uh, uh, you know, less than 45. So that is all public health measure that, you know, these are the people who are going to be more uh, sufferer or maybe have the more mortality. So definitely we can look into those groups also. So I risk approach is always good for public health. Do you think that vaccinations should be opened up irrespective of age uh, the 45 year age barrier even now even that we should sort of do away with we are looking at a large demographic uh, subsection of our population you know i remember reading this bit of statistics somewhere that uh, just eight percent of our population uh, the population of india is actually above 60 years so hmm. uh, we haven't vaccinated a very large percentage of our population in fact, uh, more than 50% of India, uh, almost 60% of India was born after liberalization, after 1991. That's an astonishing statistic. So the large majority of the people uh, needs vaccination. And the quicker you can vaccinate people, uh, the quicker you can achieve herd immunity. Therefore, I think you should go all guns blazing, uh, open more vaccination centers, uh, perhaps create outposts in both uh, rural parts of the country and uh, in all uh, major cities where more private players are involved and right. uh, increase the number of vaccinations per day. I think we have easily, we have the capacity to vaccinate about 2 million uh, people or 2.5 million people every day, very easily.